If you've ever been confused about uploading to YouTube, this is the only tutorial you need. I am working you through every setting on the upload page step by step. My name is Favor Matthew and I teach tips that I wish I knew before starting YouTube. Make sure to stick around. If you are uploading with your phone in order to have all the features enabled, please go over to your browser and type studio.youtube.com so that it is going to appear in the desktop format go ahead and sign into your youtube account and click on create and then select upload video even though i'll be using my laptop for this demo the process is exactly the same on mobile if you follow these steps now go ahead and select your video while your video is uploading you will go ahead and optimize it the first thing is to enter your video title you want to make sure that the keywords of your video is in the first 70 characters of your video title so that it doesn't get cut off because YouTube displays just the first 70 words. In simple terms, keep the important words in the first sentence of your video where people can see it very fast. And also, I like to save my file the same name as my title before I save it just so it's not going to be random numbers. Now moving over to description. Writing descriptions with keywords can help viewers find your videos easily through search. Now go ahead and write a short summary of your video with keywords in it. Keywords are the important words or phrases people type into YouTube or Google when they are searching for something. For example, someone types how to cook rice into YouTube. then how to cook rice is a keyword. It helps YouTube to understand what your video is about. Like the keywords in my YouTube description currently is this website will save you money, time and help you grow your channel and other sentences that just makes the video more understandable. So in your description summary, you want to make sure you are adding keywords to it. Now moving over to timestamps or chapters. Timestamps are clickable time markers that break your video into clear sections. Just like chapters in a book, it makes your video easier to navigate, look more professional and improve viewer retention. Because when people find what they are looking for, they are more likely to stay and keep watching. For your chapter to work, YouTube requires that your first timestamp starts at 0, 0.00 seconds. Add a short clear title for that section and move on to the rest. Make sure the timing is accurate so your viewers would not be confused. Remember not to skip the 0, 0.00 seconds because it is required for your chapters to show. Now after your timestamps, you can go ahead and promote your other videos that are more like related to this one. Something like, oh if you like this video, you will like these ones, then you copy the links of the other videos and come and paste it in your description and you can also go ahead and promote links to your resources could be a paid product or a lead magnet that leads people to your email list or it could also be legitimate affiliate links to brands that you are promoting their tools or products after that you can go ahead and include your social media links like instagram facebook tiktok and the rest and also add your email address for business inquiries make sure the email you are adding is not connected to your youtube page in go mm -hmm. good and because this information is going to be in every of your description it is better to save it as a default using the upload default setting in youtube studio if you don't know how to do it i will drop a video in the description so that you don't have to be typing these things every time you can also go ahead and add extra keywords at the bottom but just make sure you are not overdoing it now moving on to thumbnail Previously, we could only upload only one thumbnail. Now, YouTube allows up to three thumbnails. YouTube tests them and uses the one that performs well. So here's a small tip. When the final result for the testing comes out, try to make small tweaks on that design and try it again with other thumbnails. 
now with that said let's move over to playlists make sure to add your video to a relevant playlist to improve video organization and binge watch potential that means for example you have a series about youtube growth you could create a playlist titled youtube growth and any video that you make about that particular topic you add it to that playlist it is going to make people that are interested in youtube growth binge that content i mean they would watch it one by one till you know stuff like that now step six is audience selection you want to select whether your video is made for kids or not because it is required by law so if it's not made for kids select no and because my video is not a bad content and kids are considered 13 and below i will go ahead and tick no do not restrict my videos to viewers over 18 only because i know i have growing creators that watch me so why do i have to restrict them <laughs> Now moving over to number 7 which is paid promotion. If your video contains paid promotion or sponsorship, if they paid you money to talk about something, you know, stuff like that, make sure to check the disclosure box so that YouTube can show a label on your video for a few seconds to inform your viewers that this video is a sponsored video. Do you get? Now moving on to step 8 which is altered or AI content disclosure. So with the advancement of AI, so many people are getting confused which is real and which is not real anymore. <laughs> so if you use AI to make something that is misleading, maybe you use AI to make a person say something that did not happen, that is not a real life event, you have to tick this box then you have to disclose that this is an altered or synthetic content using ai tools for editing does not mean you have to disclose if your content falls under this kind of categories please select yes youtube would add a label to your video or shorts but your reach or your monetization will not be affected but failing to disclose synthetic content repeatedly could get your video or even your entire channel removed from the platform so take note of this now to step nine we have automatic chapters this is more like timestamps but this is the automatic one that youtube makes for you it works best if your video is structured well and even at that it is not always accurate so it is best to generate your timestamp manually now moving on to number 10 and 11 featured places and concepts this means that if your video shows a famous place like a landmark maybe a famous city um, building or stuff like that and for concept if it talks about a popular topic like maybe climate change youtube algorithm ai and stuff like that you can go ahead and turn these on because youtube might highlight those places or topics in your video description or search results which will make people that are searching for this particular type of video discover it. For example, somebody is searching about Lagos and this video is about Lagos. Please hope you are getting me. If you are getting me, give this video a thumbs up because this might just be one of the most simple SEO video you will come across on this YouTube street. Oh my god. Let's move on. Now at step 11, we have tags. Tag now have very minimal impact. You can use a tool called Rapid Tag to discover tags around your video topic. So make sure not to leave your tag box empty. Now moving on to number 12, we have language, date and location. Select the language of your video. If recorded earlier, you can add the recording and you can also choose to specify the location if you want. Now moving on to step 13, we have license. By default, it is set to standard YouTube license which allows you to embed your videos elsewhere like maybe your blog, your newsletter and stuff like that. I like to leave this on. Now to step 14, we have notify subscribers. Leave this on so your subscribers that turned on their notification bell can get notified when your videos come live. Only turn it off if you are posting a large number of videos a day. For example, maybe you are a news channel. Now moving on to 
step 15 we have automatic dubbing this is where youtube translates your audio into different languages i like to keep mine in review so moving on we have short remixing you can allow others to remix your content as shorts or limit them to use only the audio or block remixing altogether i personally allow remixing because i feel like it is free publicity at number 16 we have category Although YouTube algorithm now finds the right audience automatically, you can still select a category that best represents the kind of video you are uploading. Like this type of video, I am going to categorize it under the how-to content. Now at number 17, we have comments and rating. By default, comments are on, but you can sort comments either from the top or the newest first. You can moderate how people comment on your video. There are functions like none, they are basic, they are strict or to hold all the comments. I personally, my comment section is very strict. You cannot come and type something rude in my comment section because I would block it. And you can also hide the number of likes on your video if you choose to. Now moving on, we have the monetization tab. If your channel is eligible, you can go ahead and turn on ads. For videos longer than 8 minutes, you can enable mid-roll ads and even manually adjust how they are placed. Now over to ad suitability. This is where you rate your video's content for advertisers. So based on your answers, for example, no violence, no bad things and stuff like that, YouTube will now decide how advertiser friendly your video is. You have to be honest because YouTube reviews videos independently too. Now moving forward, we have video elements. This is where you can manually add your subtitle or your product tags for monetized channel only. And this is also where you add your end screen. It will appear like 5 to 20 seconds towards the end of your video. You can manually choose what you want to be there, whether your video, playlist, channel or subscribe button. You can also add cards. This is similar to end screen, but it can appear anywhere during the video with a clickable eye button. This is when you mention something and you just want it to appear somewhere in the screen. Now moving forward is checks. YouTube will run a check to ensure there is no copyright claims or issues in your video. After that, you now move over to visibility options. You have four options. You can choose to leave your video in private where only you can see it. You can also choose to leave your video as unlisted where anyone with the link can watch it or you can leave it as public where everybody can see it as soon as it goes live or you can as well schedule it to set a future date and time for it to go public. I recommend uploading as unlisted first. That's where you can pin a comment, you can finish optimizing your video, YouTube can finish their check to see if there's any copyright claim on your video before it goes live. You can share the links with brands or sponsors for review. And of course, you can publish publicly when you are sure that the video is ready. But if your video is time sensitive, you can go ahead and use the schedule tool. For example, you always post by a particular time. That is going to be very useful for that. And lastly, for the safety of children, if there are kids in your video, you want to make sure it is known here. And that's it. Go ahead and save and publish. Now that's it. You now know exactly how to upload your videos to YouTube the right way. If this helped you, give it a thumbs up so more creators can find it. And if you want more simple step-by-step -step contents like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell. And to take this a step further, make sure to watch my next video where I share free tools that every YouTuber should know to save time, grow your channel, and make content creation easier. I love you, but God loves you even more. I sound weird because I have a cold. Toodles.